Hey peeps, it's Jed here from Disrupt Tutoring and as always, it's such a pleasure to join you. Today we're going to deal with a financial mathematics question and with that in mind, let's dive straight in. They've said to us, a company bought machinery costing 80,000 Rand. Using the reducing balance method, the machi machinery had a book value of 20,000 Rand after five years. Calculate the rate of depreciation. So the very first thing we need to do is write down our depreciation formula for a reducing balance method. So that's going to be A, the accumulated amount is going to be P, the principal amount times one minus the interest rate, and then we raise that to the power of N, which are the number of periods. Let's plug in the values we know. So we know that the machinery originally cost 80,000, and at the end of the period, it was 20,000 Rand. So our accumulated value here is 20,000. Our value going in was 80,000, and then we've got one minus the interest rate is what we're trying to solve for and the n is five years okay so now let's figure this one out so we'll first divide both sides by this eighty thousand because our goal is to try and get this i by itself so that's the first thing so we're going to say twenty thousand over eighty thousand equals one minus i to the five now we need to try and get rid of that five okay so what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to fifth root that side and we need to do the same thing on the other side and once we've done that we know that we're going to have 20,000 over 80,000 apologies for those terrible zeros equals 1 minus i okay the last thing we need to do now is to get rid of that one and then divide both sides by the negative so let's do that so in order to do that we're going to have square root of 20,000 over 80,000 and then we've got the one coming across which is going to be negative one and then we would need to divide both sides by the negative which is then going to be we're going to open up our bracket and that's going to be negative of the whole thing equals i we're then going to plug all of that into our calculator and the answer we're going to get is 0 0.2421 etc etc so that would mean our percentage here is going to be 24,21%. All right, good job. Very, very nice. A well-deserved three marks there. Very special thank you to our sponsor for making this video possible. But remember to head over to our website for more of these epic tutorial videos. If you can't find the answer to your question, send us the question and we'll respond with a personalized video just for you. Until the next time, stay epic.